I'll be back with another video. Finally made it to the studio with my boy <laughs> Rizzo. Yo, hey. I'm in these bins with some young niggas. I'm on the phone with a real killer. Why he don't pick up the phone? Cause I'm that nigga. They wanna strike, so wait. He ain't even did nothing. Yo, I need a sprite to cup. All these lanes just keep coming. Y'all been, and they been fiending for this video too. I don't know if you looked at the last one with her, but all the comments were saying, Breezo, 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 you gotta do Breezo. Now I wanna go ask you about shit. Where you from? For the folks that don't know. Shit, I'm from Athens, Georgia. Mm -hmm. But when I was born, I went from the hospital and came to Atlanta. And I was on Glenwood and Canada. And really, I grew up right there. Do you write or you just all everything out the dome? Or do you ever write a song? Or just jot something down in your notes? Or, you know? I don't write, but I focus on topics. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm writing, I'm painting a picture, but I'm focusing on the topic. No, oh, okay. feel me? Like, I can't write nothing and then go do it, but I might say something like this is the main topic, and then I can go rap 10 times about it. You feel me? For sure, for sure. Okay. So, how long have you been rapping? How long have you been? Probably like eight years. I ain't gonna lie. For real? Eight years. Damn, so how old you was when you started? Probably like eight. Damn, so you old you got down. <laughs> Damn. I've probably been rapping 10 years, bro. Like, what made you want to start rapping if you remember? But that's a long bad time. Shout out Speaker Knockers, bro. I got some shit to tell y'all. I used to go to my fucking family cookout in Madison, Georgia. That shit like the country. So I'm thinking I'm from the city. I'm finna take this Atlanta drip and see if they fucking with it. <laughs> so I would listen to Speaker Knockers. Then I'd go to my cousin, my uncle, and perform his lyrics for them. And then they was fucking with like the swag I was putting out. And they was thinking it was me, so I'm like, damn. Oh, this ain't nothing but lyrics. Like, I could do it myself, you feel me? Like, think I don't care about the fame. Like, right there, I let it be a bang. Like, you know? Think I don't care about the fame. I'm on to the next one. Like, yo, fuck around. Like, you know, I ain't tripping at all. I'm getting this shit done. Like, yo, why can't you get in that ball? You know, this shit done. Who's one of your favorite producers? Chris right Clay. Way? Nobody else. Yeah, tell me no Chris, man. Shout out Chris Clay, man. Y'all need beats. You know where they hit. Oh, for real. Yeah, he making hits. And in Atlanta, if you need a studio, hit Chris Clay. Everybody, we all human, so everybody go through the motions of being down sometimes and feeling unmotivated. What do you do to like keep you going and what motivates you to keep rapping and making your music? Even when you feel, you know how your days, you like, damn, I want this shit to pop out quicker than where they're going, or damn, I wish I was in this position, or you know? Everybody has them moments and they wish they was a little further than where they at, but it do take time and you gotta put the work in. So how you feel about that? Like I tell you the trick, bro. I'm gonna get you out of sock. If you a young nigga, you think you don't got no streams, go look at your latest song, then look at the room you in. You can't even fit all those people in that room. You bigger than where you at. Just keep going. You gonna get bigger. It's that simple. I used to be looking at like 150 streams and I was in my room, it was about this big. I'm like, 150 people can't fit in here. <laughs> Niggas ain't fucking with me, bro. Fuck that. I'm finna go make another song. Then next thing you know, I get 150 likes. A thousand people listen to the song. I'm like, okay. If I did a show and sold 150 tickets, I could have made a little thousand dollars. Like, mm -hmm. I'm low key building up. Like, you gotta look at it for what you actually doing. Like, people are people. All if right. you got niggas listening to your shit, then you not capping and you not no bullshit. They'll come see you. And right. if they come see you, that's money right there. So, right. you can make money off of the bare minimum. So, don't even think about what another nigga doing. Look at what you could possibly do with what you already got. And then you're gonna keep going. You're gonna be like, damn, I ain't even did what I wanna do yet. It comes to your recording process, what does Breezo need to record a hit song or a song period? What's your favorite snacks? I know you gotta have this on, man. I got to be with my boy, Chris. Okay. 
it ain't even about being with Chris. It's just about being with somebody that's on the same page. Right. If you can get two people to agree on something, then you can make it work. Yeah. It's that simple. And he already, he already producing, bringing to the table what you need. And he bring. He don't just produce. Oh, okay. I was on FL making bullshit. Chris told me for what's six that, months straight. The ones that don't know, but I don't know. FL is what you supposed to make beats on FL, bro. I was recording on what you supposed to make beats on. And I used to come here to Chris' studio with my shit and try to do it and let him just make beats. And he used to tell me every day for six months, like, bro, you know I can record you. Like, there's no issue. Like, you know I'm an engineer. And then one day I fucking went to the studio. I'm paying 150 an hour with my boy JDN just fucking around. You know, we having fun. Then we go back to Chris shit and record, and it sound better than what we were just paying for. You found 150. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Like, and I just told Chris, bro, we're going to lock in, bro, because... You, we could have been further, bro. I was playing, you feel me? Check down the love with them big guns. Mr. Gow, he knew him a damn one. Sit down for niggas can't stand us. It's a 10 with drug, it is real fun. 1736, I'm a day one. I been hanging in, so this shit ain't one. Like a day one supporters or people that's new to new to Breeze on they they're just not finding out this shit because I'm new. I ain't gonna count. I just found out about you this shit. So for all people that support you now, what's your message to them? Just just wait on it. I ain't rushing, bro. Just wait on it. It ain't nothing to it. <laughs> Following the play, they gon' run it. Like, now, one for nothing. Like, like, damn, this shit like percussion. Like, damn, you know I'm not running. Like, if I know the bitch, she fucking. Like, that back ain't coming. But like, I got a front end, this shit ain't nothing. Like, y'all nigga way too high down detached. Like, It's a play on the way he coming. It's a foul on the play we gon' run it. Damn, one for nothing. Damn, this shit like percussion. If I know the bitch, she fucking. Damn, that back ain't coming. I got a front and this shit ain't nothing. That nigga way too hard and detached. No, I cannot go back. You know I cause I run through them 10 Man, no, I'm making this shit down. Why can't you have that straight guy? No, I ain't worried about that. These niggas mad, they all bad. I did, I did. I turned it down to like 7.5. God, it sounded crazy when it was loud. I was like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> and you just need that as an accent. Yeah. It's a play on the way he coming. It's a foul on the play we gon' run it. Damn, going for nothing. Damn, this shit like percussion. I know the bitch, she fucking. Damn, that back ain't coming. I got a friend. Put it down. Like spice. Yeah, we're my new spice. Charge is there? So, John, I'll give you my iPhone for charge now. Yeah, I'll give you a phone for charge. I'll give you a phone for Otherwise, okay, good. Let me know why I charge you. See it. Music! <laughs> love and hate can never be friends. Oh, love.